Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given problem where the question is z equal to px plus qy plus root of 1 plus p square plus q square. So, this is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q. So, to get the complete integral, we replace P as A and Q as B. So, complete integral will be Z equal to AX plus BY plus, in the question we have root of 1 plus P square plus Q square. So, this will become 1 plus A square plus B square, where a and B are arbitrary constants and here we find the number of arbitrary constant is 2 and the number of independent variable is also 2. Independent variables are x and y. In this case the number of arbitrary constants equal to number of independent variables. Now we are going to find the singular solution. For getting the singular solution we have to take this equation and differentiate with respect to the arbitrary constant a first. So, other than a, the remaining are treated as a constant. So, z differentiation is 0. Here, a differentiation is 1 and the constant x will be as it is. by is totally a constant, so 0. And square root differentiation is 1 by 2 root of 1 plus a square plus b square and differentiation of this term we get 2a because the remaining are constants. So, we can cancel this and from this we can take this x to the other side. So, minus x equal to a by root of 1 plus a square plus b square and by cross multiplication we multiply these two and that gives us a. So, a equal to minus x root 1 plus a square plus b square. Let us keep this as the second expression. In the same way, we are going to take differentiation of the 1 with respect to b. So, this differentiation, once again this is 0 and this is a constant of 0, this will become 1 into b. So, differentiating 1 with respect to b. So, 0 equal to first term is 0, b differentiation is 1 and y is a constant and root of differentiation is 1 by 2 root 1 plus a square plus b square and this differentiation by chain rule it is 2b. You can cancel this can take this y to the other side. So, we get minus y equal to b by root of 1 plus a square plus b square. By cross multiplication, we get b as minus y root 1 plus a square plus b square. Let us take this as a third expression. After getting this a and b, we shall substitute in this complete integral. So, by substitution, we get a singular solution. So, now the singular solution is z equal to ax plus by plus root 1 plus a square plus b square. So, z is equal to a into, actually we have to substitute a. So, minus x into this and already there is one x. So, minus x into root 1 plus a square plus b square into x. So, we can make this as x square. In the same way, this is minus y into root 1 plus b square, a square plus b square and we have into y. So, we can make this as y square and the last term we have root of 1 plus a square plus b square as it is. Now, totally it is possible to take root of 
1 plus a square plus b square common then remaining is minus x square minus y square and plus 1. So totally this can be rearranged as z equal to this term is 1 minus x square minus y square into root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So we have to get everything in terms of x and y for the singular solution. So I have to find the value of this root of 1 plus a square plus b square. For that I am going to take this expression 2 and 3 and I am going to square. So when I take expression 2 which is the value of a minus x root 1 plus a square plus b square and third expression is the value of b which is minus y into root of 1 plus a square plus b square. When I square this, we get a square as x square into 1 plus a square plus b square and again when I square the third expression, we get y square into a square plus b square. So we just squared second and third and now I am going to add both. So left hand side we get a square plus b square and in right hand side it is possible to take a square plus b square into x square. This is the first term and second term is y square into 1 plus a square plus b square. Now we need 1 plus a square plus b square so let us add 1 on both the sides. So 1 plus a square plus b square and even here let us take 1 plus x square into 1 plus a square plus b square plus y square into 1 plus a square plus b square. Now we shall take these two terms to the other side. So already we have 1 plus a square plus b square this minus x square into 1 plus a square plus b square minus y square into 1 plus a square plus b square equal to 1. Now taking 1 plus a square plus b square common we get 1 minus x square minus y square equal to 1 and finally we got 1 plus a square plus b square value as 1 by 1 minus x square minus y square. So this we have to substitute here. So let us take this as a fourth expression. Now z is from this z equal to we have 1 minus x square minus y square. This is from the fourth expression. We have root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So root of in place of 1 plus a square plus b square we have to substitute 1 by 1 minus x square minus y square. So here we get z equal to 1 minus x square minus y square and when I take the root for numerator and denominator it is going to be 1 by root of 1 minus x square minus y square. We find the same term so after cancelling this we get root of 1 minus x square minus y square and finally we get z equal to root 1 minus x square minus y square and squaring on both the sides this becomes z square is equal to 1 minus x square minus y square taking this term to the other side we get x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. This is our singular solution. Now to get the general solution. So for general solution already we have z is equal to ax plus by 
plus root of 1 plus a square plus b square. So we have to replace b as a function of a. So we get z is equal to ax plus function of a into y plus root of 1 plus a square plus function of a whole square. So we replace b as a function of a. Now we have to differentiate this. Let's keep this as a fifth expression. Now differentiate this fifth expression with respect to the constant a. So other than constant, other than this a remaining are constant. So z differentiation is 0. This is 1 and 2 x and because a differentiation is 1, x is a constant as it is and here function of a. So phi of a will become phi dash of a and the constant will be as it is and now root differentiation is 1 by 2 root 1 plus a square plus phi of a whole square and by chain rule the differentiation of this term is 2a plus 2 phi of a into phi dash of a and now we have to keep this as a sixth expression now from phi and 6 if we eliminate a we get the general solution so eliminating eliminating constant a from our expression phi and 6 we get general solution.